And as the war between Russia and Ukraine rages, Nigerians in the country may likely uh, to be may likely return home in few days. That's because the federal government delegation will commence the evacuation of citizens from Ukraine starting Wednesday. We we'll have a report. Many Nigerians, including students, have gone through traumatic experiences in the last few days when Russia launched missiles in Ukraine. This is the night our temperature was so low. No chance to go to the The House, at its sitting last Thursday, resolved to send a two man delegation to Ukraine to assist in the evacuation of the stranded Nigerians. But the shutdown of Ukraine's airspace and the invasion by Russia put fix to that mission. This meeting is at the instance of Speaker Femi Gwajabi Amila for the parliament to better understand government's plans towards the citizens' plight in Ukraine. Seen terrible videos of uh, how our students are uh, uh, suffering abroad, our citizens. And I believe the steps you are taking and whatever we need to do to augment or to assist uh, will, will, also, will also help. It is an opportunity for the minister to relate the many efforts of government at giving succor to the stranded Nigerians. Um, I was in touch with the ambassador. The first thing was to get in touch with all the Nigerians there, set up a hotline uh, with the embassy uh, at the center and uh, start directing. We were in touch with the Ukrainian authorities and our hope was that we could go in immediately. The minister says government already sealed arrangements with Epis Airline to bring back willing Nigerians from Wednesday. Really doing everything possible to ensure that come Wednesday uh, we start deploying planes uh, to go and, uh, and get them uh, back. So um, this is it. Thank you. Sir. Thank you very much. Uh... The speaker is not too impressed with the perceived delay in government's action and calls for more proactiveness in the future. We need to have a setup by law or by ingrained in your in the foreign affairs policy, and, and that will have to do with you if we can work together. Where we are in a state of readiness at any point in time, where we need to evacuate our, our, our citizens because it's happened one time too many. The meeting rose with a commitment of collaboration between the federal government and the House of Representatives that will ensure willing stranded Nigerians are brought back home in one piece. Dr. Edson, TVC News, Abuja.